Alright, so I got my cake pretty level. The corners aren't as sharp as I want it, but that's totally fine. This is where we're going to make it extra sharp. Good morning, sunshines. Welcome back to my channel. It's Sierra here, and I'm going to share with you three tips that I use in order to get those super sharp and clean edges on my buttercream cakes. So if that's something that interests you, keep watching. So my first tip happens before we even start decorating the cake. So once you're done baking your cake and it comes out of the oven, you're going to want to cool it just a little. And then once it's still warm, remove it from the pan and cut that dome off that's on the top of your cake. We're going to want to level our cake. That way we can get our cake, once we stack it, as straight as we can and as level as we can for each tier. And in order to level your cake, all you need is like a serrated bread knife. Um, you can use a cake leveler that you can find on Amazon. I have one of those, but honestly, I rarely use it. I just use my serrated knife. It's much faster. Um, but that is the first tip. You want your each cake layers to be as level as possible. Once your cake layers are leveled, it's time for tip two. You're going to wrap your cake layers in plastic wrap or saran wrap and place them in the freezer. This is going to make your life 100% easier when you're ready to decorate your cake. And as you can see here, I already froze my layers and they are nice and level. And they're ready to be put together. Now, I freeze my cake layers for a couple of different reasons. Um, one being that it helps me get those sharp edges. Another reason is that it is much faster. It sets much faster. So once I'm done putting this layer of buttercream on, it's already starting to set right where it's touching the cake. And personally, it speeds up the decorating process since I don't have to wait as long for the buttercream to set. Another reason I freeze my layers is because it's easy to work with and the crumbs aren't flying all off the cake. There are still a few crumbs here and there but there would be much more crumbs if I didn't freeze these layers. And now, as I was talking about the buttercream um, setting much faster because my layers are frozen, you'll be able to see that when I do my crumb coat. If you guys do um, freeze your layers like I do, I want you to comment below and let me know how long you freeze your cake layers for. Is it for a couple of hours? Do you freeze it the night, the night before? And another reason why it's great to cut that top layer off to level off your cake and then freeze it is you can choose either the bottom of the layer or the top of the layer. Whatever side is more of a crisper edge, if that makes sense. So sometimes you get your cake pan and it's a little rounded on the bottom of your cake. So you can just flip it over and where you cut with your serrated knife, that corner is very level so you can use that side or the bottom. I'm going to use the bottom for today's cake. But it gives you that nice option if you want a crisper edge if let's say your cake pan was a little bit more round. Now it is time to crumb coat. And for those of you who don't know what a crumb coat is, it's basically just a thin layer of buttercream that we're using to trap in all of these unwanted crumbs. This is going to help us get a nice beautiful layer of buttercream on our outer layer. Is it necessary? Yes. I used to think it wasn't necessary when I was um, first start when I first started out baking. I just thought to myself, I'm just going to make a thicker layer of buttercream, that way the crumbs kind of stick on the inside of that layer, and then the outer layer, the crumbs won't reach it. However, if you want to get a nice, smooth finish, and ensuring that there's no crumbs, definitely do the crumb coat. 
And like I said, because my layers are frozen, my crumb coat is already starting to set. So I don't need to wait that long when I pop it in the freezer. I'll probably leave it in there for like five minutes maybe, and then my crumb coat will be ready to put the final coat on. Now, as you can see here, when I use my spatula and kind of bring these edges towards the middle, which is recommended, um, by a lot of bakers in order to get that crisp edge. Sometimes your buttercream will just pull in and it's naturally gonna create a rounded edge and you're not gonna get that crisp corner that you're looking for and it's gonna drive you absolutely nuts. But I'm gonna show you how to combat this. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna pop this in the freezer for like five minutes and then we'll be right back. And now our crumb coat is solid, so we're going to place our outer coat of buttercream on. And I like to do this by using a piping bag, just so that I get a nice, even coat around the whole cake. All right, and because I kind of want it to blend in nicely, I'm gonna have the white. I'm gonna start on the top, and then I'm just gonna push it down all the way to the blue. And if you see that there's a few gaps, we can just cover that up with more buttercream. So here is where we're going to start building the foundation of that sharp corner. You're going to start at the top of your cake and just level it out nicely, pushing the buttercream all the way past the edge of your cake. Then you're going to take your bench scraper and scrape away just as you normally would when you're decorating the cake and make sure that your buttercream is completely covering the whole cake evenly. All right, and once we have our side smooth, we're gonna use our offset spatula and bring in that buttercream to the center of your cake. Each time you make a swipe, make sure that you clean off your spatula. Alright, so I got my cake pretty level. The corners aren't as sharp as I want it, but that's totally fine. This is where we're going to make it extra sharp. So now you're going to get your spatula or your cake scraper and you're going to do the same exact thing. Run it all the way around the top of your cake, pushing that buttercream out to the edge of your cake. Now you're going to take your cake scraper and scrape the sides of your cake again, pushing that buttercream over the top of your cake. It's going to create like a little lip on the top. All right, and then we can give our buttercream a final smooth. All right, I'm probably gonna scrape it one more time once I take it out of the freezer, but right now we're gonna pop this back into the freezer for about 10 minutes, and then we are going to actually cut off the top of this cake. I'll see you in a bit. All right, our cake is nice and solid. So now we are going to take our sharp knife, whatever you have, if it's an X-Acto knife or if it's a paring knife, whatever knife is sharp in your house, go grab it. Make sure it's clean and washed. And you are going to simply place your knife at the edge of the cake, right on the top, as level as you can, and start 
cutting away at that buttercream. Now a tip here is to cut it off in small sections. Um, I say this because if you go around one time and you cut it, you're going to have that bit of buttercream that you just um, cut off. It's going to start melting right away because there's such a there's such little mass of that buttercream and it might get stuck to your cake and then when you remove it, it could leave an impression. So just take a little at a time and be very patient. Alrighty, so now we have our super sharp edge on our cake, right? Now what I like to do, it's not necessary, but what I like to do is to clear this top edge off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe my bench scraper and I'm going to scrape away at this top layer. And because my buttercream is hard, it's basically shaving it off rather than smoothing it out. And now we're going to go on the sides. And I'm going to clean off my offset spatula and bring this tiny little edge that we got going on here to the middle of the cake. And again, once you swipe it in, clean your spatula off. And that's it guys, that's how I get my super sharp edges on my buttercream cakes. If you guys like this tutorial, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, click that notification bell, that way you're notified when I upload my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. God bless.